The great Einstein once called this the eighth wonder of the world. And Warren Buffett wouldn't be Warren Buffett if he doesn't make use of this concept. So yes, we are talking about compound interest. So say you have a thousand dollars to invest when you're 15 and you find a bank or some investment that is able to return you a 10% return every year. So the first year, how much will you get back? You will get back, this is your principal, and then you will get back a 10% return. So 10% times this, you will have $1,100. Now the secret is the second year, you will get back not $1,200, but more. So how much more? You will get back $1,210. You will have that $10. So the amount that you compound will be compounded again. So the third year, you will have much more. And if we were to use the same calculation, you will have $1,331. So when you start, this is zero, you have 1,000. And then after that, you have 1,100, 1,210, 1,331. Now you can see a pattern here. And the pattern can be written like this. For every single year, you are taking the principal. The principal is the original amount. And for every year, because it's a 10% return, you are taking the principal to be multiplied by 1.1. Because this is 10%. So if it's 20%, it will be 1.2. So the second year, it will be the principal multiplied by 1.1 times 1.1. And the third year, it would be the same principal of $1,000 multiplied by 1.1. And then this whole value multiplied by 1.1. And then this multiplied by 1.1 again. Uh, the money that you get will be equals to the original amount, P, the principal, multiplied by the 1.1 in this case to the power of N. So N is the number of years in which the principal is compounded. So what exactly is inside? So you need a 1 here to represent the principal plus the interest rate in percentage. So for example, if you have 10%, you will have to put 10% divided by 100. So 10 over 100 will be 0 0.1, 0 0.1 plus 1 will be 1.1. So the rate here is your interest rate in percentage. So this is the formula that all billionaires will know by heart, and you should. So you may not think that this is a lot of money. After all, you know, you put in a thousand dollars and after three years you get one three three one. But you are 15 years old. So say, for example, if you can find an investment that can give you back 10% every year and you invest for 40 years, so we carry on with our calculation. So 40 years, you'll be 55 years old, almost retired. So let's work this out. So A equals to your 1,000 multiplied by 1.1 to the power of 40. You will have a whooping $45,259. Now this is only $1,000. Imagine if you were to invest 10,000, you will have almost half a million. So the magic of compound interest is here. So now let's take a look at this example. Find the compound interest on $1,005 for two years at 2% per annum, compounded A annually and B monthly. So A, we write down our formula amount of money is equals to principal 1 plus rate over 100 compounded n times. So in this case, your principal is 1005, 1 plus 2% 2 over 100 to the power of 2 because 2 years. So if you work this out, you will have 1560.60. So that is not too hard. Now for part B, it's the same question, but this time around, you, the amount of money is compounded monthly. So this is the same formula. 2% interest would mean that every month, 
it will be compounded by 0.1667%. So we work this out. So 1005, 1 plus 0.1667 over 100, compounded 24 times because there are 24 months. 1561.16 so as you can see, it is always far more favorable for you to compound as much as possible.